At this moment, when uh, times are somewhat um, mercurial, uh, would you still favor if someone is bent on equities? Would, would you go into the market now, or would you wait and see, wait and see if things are going to calm down a bit? Waiting for things to calm down before investing may seem like a reasonable plan, but if you really think about it, it's not. For one thing, there's almost always something going on in the financial markets that's cause for concern. Whether it's Moody's downgrading the credit ratings of many large banks, the economic problems the Eurozone is currently going through, or just a generalized fear that growth prospects around the world are declining. So if you plan to hold off investing in stocks until times are less mercurial, as you put it, you could be waiting a long time and missing out on substantial gains while you're on the sidelines. Besides, just because things are going swimmingly doesn't necessarily mean investing is any less risky. After all, investors were positively ebullient just before the dot-com crash in the year 2000 and in mid-2007 before the financial crisis hit. So it's not as if high levels of confidence offer protection against market downturns. If anything, the opposite might be true. So rather than spending your time testing the economic winds trying to decide whether or not to buy stocks, I recommend you try a different strategy. Create a diversified portfolio that includes both stocks and bonds, and then largely stick with it regardless of what the economic mood is. Once you've settled on the right blend of stocks and bonds, don't fiddle with it. Instead, once a year or so, you should rebalance back to your portfolio's original proportions, so if stocks have outperformed bonds over the previous year, you would sell some stocks and put the proceeds into bonds, or do the reverse if stocks have lagged. By taking this disciplined approach, you'll not only keep the risk level of your portfolio relatively stable, you'll also end up selling high and buying low. One of those things everyone says investors should do, but few investors actually pull off.